Hey Tanya, do you know Grandpa explained to me how subtraction works and where it is used? That's great. I know the basic concepts of subtraction, but I find it difficult to understand what borrowing means. Oh Tanya, let me help you on this right away. Let's begin with this simple example. 63 minus 27. At one's place, we have to remove seven from the number three. But how do we do that? As three is less than seven. For three to be bigger number than seven, it has to borrow one ten from the number at the tens place. Let me explain. The number at the top is sixty-three, which is sixty plus three. separating the ones from the tens imagine the number 3 requesting a 10 from the number 60 it borrows a 10 so the number 63 becomes 50 plus 13 the way we write this down in our problem is we cancel the 6 and replace with a 5 denoting the tens place to be 50 then we write a 1 against the 3 meaning it is now 13 which as you can see is bigger than 7 so we can now remove 7 from 13 to get 6 as the answer for the ones place at the tens place we have to remove 2 from 5 or rather 20 from 50 to get 30 as the answer so as a result the answer to 63 minus 27 is 36 grandpa let me ask you to help me with another subtraction question 259 minus 187 shua tanya as usual we start at the ones place Here we have to remove seven from nine, which leaves us with two. At the tens place, we have to remove eighty from fifty. But as you can see, eighty is bigger than fifty. So fifty needs to borrow to be bigger than eighty. But where does it borrow from, and how much? it looks up to the next bigger number place which is the hundreds so 50 borrows a 100 from the number 200 as a result it becomes 150 with the 200 getting reduced to 100 the way we write this is we cancel the 2 at the hundreds place and replace it with 1 implying this to be 100 and we place a 1 against the 5 in the tens place indicating this to be 150 which as you observe has now become a bigger number than 80 so we solve 150 minus 80 to get 70 so we write a 7 here in the tens place so 259 minus 187 is 72 Do you know kids there is another situation of borrowing which many find challenging An example 1000 minus 436 Starting with the ones place the zero needs to borrow a 10 for it to be bigger than 6 It looks to the tens place it is zero as well so it can't borrow from it so we move to the hundreds place for borrowing a 10 here too it's not possible as this is 0 2 we finally reach the thousands place and ask for a 10 from it the 1000 at the thousands place gives away a 10 it is reduced to 990 
the 10 that the ones place borrowed is now written at the ones place and the 1000 is replaced by 990 so we write these in this manner we now solve the ones place we get 10 minus 6 to be 4 we have a 9 minus 3 at the tens place so the answer here is 6 and finally at the hundreds place we have 9 minus 4 which is 5 so the answer for 1000 minus 436 is 564 I have one more borrowing question for you grandpa can I borrow your pen please <laughs>